Thank you, Father God, for allowing us to see a new day. Yes. Thank you for touching us early this morning and allowing our time to roll on a little while ago. Recognize, Lord, you didn't have to do it, but because you love us so much, you blessed us to see a day that we've never seen before. Lord, we thank you because you are a mighty God. You just keep on making a way. You're faithful in all your ways. Most of all, Lord, we're thankful for Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask you now that you would just open up the front gates of heaven yes, this morning. Yes. And let your love and your anointing fall yes. on us. Bless us in this service, Lord, this morning, Lord God. Yes. Have your way, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes. If there be someone here this morning, Lord, that do not know you in the body of their sins, we pray, Lord God, that something that you said or done, that they may come running down these aisles asking, what must I do? Yes. Lord, we pray for those that are going through something this morning. We pray that you would cover the sick, the homeless, the lost, those that know you and those that do not. We pray, Lord God, that you would just heal our land this morning. Yes. There's so much, so much suffering going on all over the world. But Lord, we know you still have the whole world in us. We know, Lord God, that you love us so much, Lord God. If we would just trust in you, Lord God, lean to you, Lord God, everything. Lord, Lord, we pray for our pastor as he comes to bring the word this morning. We pray that you would anoint him, Lord God. Pray that you would protect him and his family as they travel down. We're so thankful this morning, Lord God, for what you're doing at JVC. Yes, Lord. We ask that you continue to bless us, that we would love one another in this place, that we would lift up one another in this place, that we would encourage one another in this place. Bless all, Lord God, in this place this morning. Yes. We're so thankful and grateful just to be here, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For you thank are Almighty God. We can't thank you yes. enough. Lord. Yes. Just keep yes. on blessing. Yes. Yes. Just keep on blessing. Yes. 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 We pray, Lord God, that we will be faithful. Bless yes. us that when we go from this place, yes. that we'll be able to tell someone about your God and Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, if you do this, we'll be so careful.
Baptist Church family. Just wanted you to know that what you did was well, wonderful. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you so much for the generosity and kindness shown to our family. It was truly appreciated with love, Lynette, and Canadian. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over. Praying the Lord blesses your heart and abundance measure. Thank you. We truly appreciate the love and support that you have shown to our family. May God continue to bless you. We love you, Lynette and Canadian. Greetings, pastors, churches, ministries, and community. Join our St. John Baptist Church Missionary Ministry for a free conference entitled Understanding Alzheimer's Disease on Saturday, September the 14th at 10 o'clock a.m. Giveaways and lunch included. We welcome you to join us and become educated on a disease that is ravaging our loved ones, family, friends, and the world. Please RSVP as requested by our church phone, church phone or email, and we hope to see you there. Peace and blessings to you always. And that flyer is on the bulletin board with the additional uh, information. Attention all missionary members. This Saturday, September the 9th at 10 o'clock a.m. until 12 noon, there will be an Area K meeting here at Jerusalem and the Fellowship Hall. There will be representatives from the Baptist General Convention to discuss some much needed questions and answers for all other churches that will be in attendance at our facility. This information is coming from Ms. Eva Anthony, Vice President of Area K. Please try to attend if possible. Thanking you in advance, District Chair of Area K3, Sis Elsie Derrickai. The directory committee is working on the second part of the directory, which consists of loving memories of our family members that have gone to be with the Lord. The committee would like to finish the second part of the directory by the second Sunday in September. You can submit, submit your memorials with or without a picture. It can be a whole page for $25, a half page $15, or a fourth of a page with no picture $10. See Sister Susie Jackson, Deaconess Maxine Curry, or any member of the directory committee for information, more information to submit your memorial. The next quarterly meeting for the Belmont Cemetery will be Sunday, September the 29th, following morning service. As a reminder, the 2025 budget forms have been placed in the ministry mailboxes. Blank forms are also in a folder on the bulletin board. The deadline to submit a budget is Sunday the 29th, September the 29th. However, please strive to submit it earlier if possible. And another reminder for Family and Friends Day, church will be at Fort Farm Park Park in Hanover County next Sunday, September the 8th. Service will begin at 9 a.m., followed by lunch, games, good music, good food, and more. In honor of Grandparents' Day, a shuttle will be provided for seniors leaving the church at 8.30 a.m. And after lunch, there will be a professional masseuse on site offering free chair massages for grandparents only. First come, first serve basis. All attendees are to act ask to bring a covered dish to share and please bring a friend. This is a BYOC, which is for your own <laughs> event. In case of incoming weather, all services and activities will be moved to the church. Let's continue to pray for our sick, our shut-in, and each other. Amen. This concludes our announcements received for this morning. Thank you for your attention. Church. Good morning. It's all for time. Yeah. I know some of y'all thought BYOC was bringing you on the call. 
And I understand that's your choice if you want to or not. But one of my best friends done snuck in the house. I think I ain't gonna say that, Mr. Jamal Mann and his family. Jamal Mann, Jamil, Mia, and Jace. Good to see y'all. This is the grandson of our late Gilbert Mann, who was very active with our seniors in action. So we know he's smiling today. We just want to thank you and welcome y'all for coming. Is any other love? All right? So, um, why let's go.
Can you give yourself a hand for being in the house of the Lord today? Hallelujah. Good to see you back. Good to see you back. God bless you. Come on, somebody. God is a healer. God still healer. God still making a way. Hallelujah. Paul, good to see you, bro. Thanks for being here, man. Good to see you and the family out this morning. Hallelujah. Good luck and God bless you. Have a smile. But if you would please stand on your feet and turn with me to the second book of the Kings, uh, the sixth chapter. Hallelujah. We're starting at the first verse. Hallelujah. Second Kings, the sixth chapter. We are starting at the first verse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, help me to walk. Yes, ma'am, Sister Kathy. Help me to walk. Help me to walk. people. 
people of God. Uh, can I say that one more time? Yeah, yeah. They are anointed by God uh, to do the will of God for the people of God. One more time, Peter, to show that sometimes we might miss it in worship. They are anointed by God uh, to do the will of God for the people of God. I want to pause right here before I go any further and let you know your anointing for you. Come on now. Okay, I know I'm going to step on somebody holding those toes in the end of the day. We like to be anointed and pop our collar and talk about how anointed we are. Whatever your gift it is, it could be speaking, it could be singing, it could be playing, it could be whatever your anointing is. Sometimes we get the thing twisted and we think it's for us. Uh, so we can be great in our own eyes. Uh, but God gave you the anointing on your life, the gift that's on your life, the whatever's on to do what he called you to do, not so you could serve you, but so you could serve his people. Somebody how about a servant? That ought to be hard for you if you're a believer. You, that, that, that shouldn't be a struggle for you to say that. You know, sometimes we say something like that. I'm saying, I don't know about that. That's that. You ought to say, I'm a servant. It's impossible for you to lead if you can't serve. There is no such thing in my book as a servant, as a leader who can't serve. And if you see a, a, a man of God or a woman of God, a, a, a person that's in a leadership position, and somewhere along the line they got too high to serve, they can take a couple steps back and go back to what it really means to lead. Because leadership is not barking out orders. Leadership is leading by example and serving by example. If you're a leader, you ought to be the lead servant. Somebody yeah. have our servant. I'm a servant. Uh, uh, so, so, so this is the thing. We are anointed by God to do the will of God for the people. Of God. Ah, somebody how about the servant? And then I'm not just talking about in service and in worship. Because some of us master Sunday morning service. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we don't look nothing like the God we talk about. I'm just, I ain't talking about nobody here. I'm looking at the wrong. But sometimes we are, we, we master Sunday when we know somebody can pat us on the back and tell them we did a good job. You ought to be able to serve somebody in your community. Huh? You ought to be able to serve somebody in your workplace. You ought to be able to stretch a little bit. And now you done drove by that person for 14 straight days and see them looking like a hot, pitiful man. And ain't nothing in your heart move for compassion yet. Somebody help, I'm a servant. I'm a servant. I'm a servant. That, that, that's what God placed me here. And, 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 and so the school of prophets were servants of the Most High God, placed in position to do the will of God for the people of God. Huh? And then they find themselves in a position where, 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 where the shift has taken place because Elijah has been taken up to heaven. And now, his understudy, Elisha, has come on to the scene. And the school of the prophets are appreciating what God has sent them, but they realize uh, that they're growing and they're going to need to do some work in order to be able to accommodate the growth. Somebody call I got the word. Say it like you mean I got the word. Can, can, can we sell on this before we go further? Growth demands work. Growth, and, I, and, I, and I don't just mean work with your hands. I'm going to go a little bit deeper. Uh, uh, growth demands work with your spirit. It demands work with your spirit. Growth demands work with, 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 because you know sometimes, not in this church, but sometimes in church we get in clicks and circles, right? And we don't really want our click to be no bigger. But all these new folks coming in, and they act like they're going to be in our today. So they do. You can be here, but you can't be here. You see what I'm saying? Growth demands work. Your circle got to get bigger. You got to stretch yourself emotionally. You got to be able to talk to people that you can pay you off. Right? You can't make folks feel like, because you've been here for 130 years, and they've been here for 13 months, they don't matter if you do. I'm 
That's statistics. Not here, that's overall in the church. 20% of the people do 80% of the work. And then what happens is uh, the rest of the people get used to showing up on Sunday and being like that show was a good service. Appreciate you, but do something. Again, you don't have to be it. If you can't sing, don't join the choir. I'm, I'm serious. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, if you can't sing, that's not your ministry. You can make a joyful voice from your seat. But you can do something. If you can't sing, you can greet. You can learn how to smile. You can learn how to say, oh, that's what you get we thank God for you. What's your name? What want you? You can make people feel valuable when they walk in the door. If that's not your personality, that's okay. Find one of the deacons in the old trustee. Ask them if you can help take the trash out. I just want to serve. I just want to be clean the church. I just want to serve. When we go on the prayer walls and I'm out here, I just want to serve. God, let me do something. Let me put my hands to the plow so your kingdom. Sit up here and spectate. I'm not a spectator. I'm a participator. I'm a contributor and not a consumer. This is what God called me to do in His kingdom, and I'm going to be a part of it. Somebody help me. I'm a contributor. Say it like you mean it. I'm a contributor. I'm just 
chopping it up. They started like, you're big dude, what you doing? They're football. We talked for about five minutes and eight minutes. Every time you come, you park your car right here. We're going to make sure you're good. Make sure you're good. I didn't think nothing about it. I listened. I listened. To the very, I listened. So I did. Every time I went there, I parked the car. I came out one time from living. Everybody else called me broken into. Except my car. Because there's something about broken. Right. There's something about oil. When you allow your oil to flow, and some of us feel like, well, I ain't talking to the riffraff. Somebody talk to you. Yes, yes. You forgot you used to be riffraff. Yes. You know, we've been saying a long time. Y'all don't, don't think it's a spiritual amnesia on this. Well, all y'all forget, but some of y'all all might start talking. If y'all don't clap your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Some of y'all all, everybody, will thank you.
that, that he heard, Mama Joyce, he, he heard our cry when we cried. And he was connected to our loss. The second thing I want to let you know uh, is that when we lose, we got to know who to go to and talk about. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Because what we find ourselves doing oftentimes is we start losing and we go talk to people who are not going to encourage us spiritually about what we lost. And then we end up going deeper into that season of loss. And we say things like, well, you know, I was in church and everything started going crazy. And so I just had to take a break from all that. Like it was church's fault, your life was going crazy. Right? We've got to, the Bible says, make your request known unto God. And the God of all peace shall guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Far too often, we spill in our souls to people who don't even have real relationships with Jesus. Yeah. And then we wonder why the God is we get this shit. For you to show God. Now why can I be real? Look straight ahead. Yes. Nobody yes. knows why I'm yes. talking about you. Yes. For you to show God where your finances went around. Mm -hmm. Stop blaming silliness yes. on why you, you know you ain't never had a budget all your life. And you think a sale mean for me. And I'm supposed to go get it. And now your money funny. Show me the real God. Show me. It wasn't that I was obsessed with stuff. It's that I was confused about my own identity. Yeah. And I thought that things identified me. Yeah. I thought if I had certain things, people would see me a certain yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So I, it wasn't just because I loved stuff. It was because I was trying to find a better way to love me. <laughs> Show me where it failed. When God could, and you, you, the marriage is falling, the relationship is falling apart, where did it fall? Attention from a place I wasn't supposed to get it because it's too real, Phil. Yeah, keep it real. Oh, 
children and, and a song around here. I might not have a precise location, but it's somewhere around here. And it said, Elijah, he cut off a branch. Somebody say he cut it off. God loves you enough to sacrifice something for your redemption. Do you hear me? And he loves you enough to sow something to retrieve what you lost. You don't believe me? He was wounded for our transgressions. He was broken. Come on, For our iniquity, the chastisement of our peace. You know, Christ was chastised into yes. sleep at night. Yes. Yes. It was upon him, and with his stripes, you are Show you how. 
Shall we just reach out? Yeah. One thing have I desired of the Lord. Yeah. Grab it. That will I seek after. Come on, grab it. Grab it that I can dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Grab it. To behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. Grab it. For in time of trouble, he'll hide me in his pavilion in the secret place of his tabernacle. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Listen. Everything they said you couldn't do. Everything they said you wouldn't be. The devil is alive. And I'm telling you, you can. Are you sure of that state? Absolutely, positively. I'm certain you can. How can you be so sure? Because greater is he that is within you. Yeah. If he does, if he does. This is body of Christ. I came to encourage you. There's some things we lost. I get it. There's some things we lost along the way. So some things you plan on still happening. And it hurts. But God is able to restore it to you. God is able to restore it to you. All the years that the locusts and the canker are yeah. yes. the worm and the caterpillar of God. He's able to give it back. He's able to give it back. But when he does, you gotta reach up and grab it. Come on, yes. God. Come on.
Amen. Amen. Come on, give God glory. 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 Clap your hands like you believe it. Come on, clap your hands like you believe it. Clap your hands like it's your miracle. Clap your hands like it's your healing. Come on, give God glory. 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 Demonstrate to all of these, your people, the 
efficacy of your blood and the fact that it still works. God, I thank you that not only are they covered, but that their seeds are covered, God, that whatever they put their hands to for the sake of the kingdom, that it's covered in Jesus' name because the blood still works. Now, Father, we thank you for reaching us. We thank you for finding us. We thank you for transforming us. We thank you for covering us. We give you glory for it. We give you honor. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Drink ye all of it. Thank you in advance. If you believe it, shout amen. amen. We love you. 